It's been about a week and I think I'm fully recovered enough to have a look at another fake restoration video. Have these fallen into the same river? I mean, what is it? They, they just look, they all have this just, this just, this, these, this notes, the notes, the, you know, can you, you know, do you get those notes? The notes of, um, complete and utter bullshit. So let's take a look at this one here. Restoration old Nintendo 3DS LL Game Boy Destroyed Retro Console Game Boy Nintendo Restore and Repair. And what that is, is that's a bunch of, a bunch of words, real words that people actually use that they've just sort of done that to and then it's just displayed it in a random order and then they have a title for their video. And this one currently has a quarter of a million views, but it's only been out for a month. It's destined to reach five billion by the end of the week. So. These videos all start off in the exact same way. It's a slightly sped up video of a person walking around with a little stick in their hand, wading through literal crap uh, that is unfortunately on the side of the road. This typically goes on for roughly uh, two to three minutes and then they stumble across a DS. And this DS, I imagine, is going to be the perfect fit for a viral video on YouTube. And what's interesting is we don't see them sort of picking up ones that are potential videos that, you know, that they, they think maybe it's a bit too far gone. We only see pure rubbish and then one 3DS and here it is right there. I mean that just looks slightly suspicious, doesn't it? Just ever so slightly suspicious. We've got a, a sort of a chest bursting aliens-esque hole in the screen there. We've got lots of mud. Um, you can see what sort of looks to be like brush strokes. There's some very irregular sort of staining there. Um, I don't quite know what would cause this. I mean, I assume maybe if it was at the bottom of a, a river or a lake or something along those lines that maybe it could just be covered in in all of this sort of stuff on, on a bank in a river of something something like that so it's weird that some of it is covered and others aren't there's definitely some sort of brush strokes going on over there by the action buttons and what even looks to be a brush fiber We've got a button missing in the middle. There is a button missing there. Both screens seem to have sort of imploded, which again I find I find really bizarre as to how that how as to how that might have happened. Now we've also got a hole on the top of the DS. Now trying to analyze what's gone on with this hole here. Um, mm, something's tried to escape from inside it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm completely lost. We've got some more brush strokes there um, on the top of the DS. Um, it's sort of partially apart. There's some screws missing there from the from the back of the uh, the shell. You can see those those two screws are missing. Um, we've got lots of scratches and scrapes and all that sort of stuff. And now we're going to start to remove it. So a little toothbrush there, just get a few bits of the dust out. Stylus just so happens to be in there. Very, very rare in, 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 in most cases, especially something of this condition. And we've also got the SD card, which is not seized in there and it looks absolutely brand new. So it really does blow my mind as to how all of this dirt got here if it hadn't been painted on by the person claiming to restore it. We're going to now look at the inside of the board. Now, very irregular staining. Again, we've got some staining in some areas and then the other part is completely mint condition. Uh, and then we're gonna go through the process of removing all of the parts. Um, it's really it's really odd how that, how that staining's got there. I, I mean, how is this, how has this happened? How, look, what are these? Come on, I mean, uh, are these are these brush strokes? Are they? Just just tell us. One thing again, really unique thing to look at that we hadn't been able to previously look at on the Game Boys. This little polka dot sticker right here is a um, a moisture indicator. It's 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 called a a trip pad or something like that. When the moisture uh, gets into this DS. Um, it's for, a, I think, maybe like a warranty. If moisture has gotten in, that pad will go pink. Um, so it's it's clearly not gone pink. We've still got the white and red dots, and if it, moisture had gotten in there, the whole pad would be pink. So how moisture has, has created this 
uh, this staining here, which is what I guess we're assuming this is meant to look like, is that moisture from a river has sort of gotten in and left this staining. How all of that has happened and this trip pad here is absolutely mint is beyond me. So one thing that I wanted to look at here is, is this. Now this is a ribbon cable connector that, that is obviously connecting some sort of screen or something to the motherboard. Now, whatever this staining is, we're, we're gonna assume that it's from the river that it's been sat in, but it's, it's, it's clearly, you know, the paintbrush strokes of the fake mud that, or whatever it is that they've been painting on this thing. There is not a single sign of rust on any of these pins. Now, the likelihood of them not being covered in rust is so slim. And I've done restorations, as has my friend Vince, to Nintendo Switches and things that are even newer than a 3DS, whereby one tiny little spill of Coca-Cola or something will cause one of those tiny little pins there to rust and then it will stop the thing from working. Now we're gonna take all of the buttons out. This process is gonna take forever. I can't be asked to watch it. Right, here's the, uh, the screen coming out. Now the screen, is is really quite an, a piece of art. I have no idea how that's happened. Uh, do not do this to your screens. Don't peel apart all the layers. There's lots of very small fragments of glass and stuff that you just don't want to be getting on you uh, or all over the table that you're working on or all over your DS that you're going to be fixing. It's just a terrible idea. So don't, don't do it. And this guy is going to continue to do it. For what reason? It visually looks good, doesn't it? It does. It looks great. It looks nice. He's picking things apart, and it's 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 dirty, and it's and it's gross, and shows just how much work is involved in 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 restoring this DS. So we're going to take off the back piece now. Uh, what's interesting to me is that small little uh, that small little hole that we've got there has only left a bit of mud on the back of this screen. Like, how has all of that damage happened to the plastic, but then there's just a tiny bit of mud there? Right, we're going to uh, pull this ribbon cable out and then just yank off the camera module. <laughs> oh dear. What is it with the fumbling as well? Like, why is it that they've got to like fumble? Why can't they just be gentle? What's with the fumble? You know, I don't understand. Right, here's the, here's the other screen. Uh, please tell me he's not gonna take that one apart because it's just so pointless and wastes everybody's time. Yep, okay, he's gonna pull it all apart. Why? Your guess is as good as mine, Nan's. So there's all of the pieces of stuff, you know, just showing stuff, clunky, dirty, gross stuff. Person on, on the internet is gonna look at it and go, wow, there's so much stuff and it's so dirty. But realistically, we know that it was completely pointless to peel all that stuff apart. And uh, we also know because we've watched a few of these right now that, that these are fake. So um, so what we're doing here is just playing along with it. So they're cleaning the DS up and it's very aesthetic. There's soapy water. There's a nice bright red toothbrush. He's removing all of the gunk and it's coming out just mwah, because it was very, very clean about a day ago before he covered it in the mud. So uh, it's really beginning to look very, very nice. Um, all of the little buttons and stuff. Now he's drying it all off. You can see that monstrous hole there that looks to be caused by something with heat because there's some black staining around the, the opening of it. In the last video, a few people in the comments section guessed that it could have been uh, caused by um, a soldering iron. Yeah, I mean, some of that does look like it could be caused by a soldering iron, especially these marks here literally just look like the tip of a soldering iron where it's just been sort of scraped along like that and there's bits that are burnt. Um, so... Yeah, but then again, I think it also could be caused by this Dremel being used incorrectly and burning the holes. So what we're going to see them do is remove the burrs that has been caused by the Dremel or the soldering iron in the first place. Presumably by this exact Dremel and by that exact hand on that exact table. So we're going to remove them all now and uh, then we're going to get some sandpaper out and sand it all up. And what we're then going to do next, I imagine, is patch up the hole. What will he use this time? Is it going to be noodles? We'll find out. So they're placing some sort of membrane behind the hole, super gluing it in, and then they're gonna fill that cavity with something. In this instance, it's cocaine. So the cocaine's gonna go in there. He's gonna then brush it in with a toothbrush. And then I imagine we're gonna get some, uh, some super glue that's gonna go on there and sort of create the material uh, as you can see there, it's all gonna, it's all gonna just 
you know, go in, sprinkle a bit more cocaine on there. A uh, bit more super glue. Hey, nice bit of super glue. Bit more super glue again. You might as well. Why not? Now we're going to turn our attention to the motherboard. Let's let's salt it up a little bit because it's going to go on the barbecue. Tastes a little bit nice. Get some get some pepper on there too. Let's see what we've got here. Um, some water. Yes, our favourite. Some people are saying, no, no, they've used isopropyl alcohol. I don't think so. A Dremel? What is the point of that? I mean, also, um, are we, are we looking at the same, same motherboard here? I mean, it's, it's likely this is the same motherboard. I think what a lot of people in the comment section of the last couple of videos that we've looked at have alluded to, which I actually think is a really good, good, good point, is what they've done is they've gotten a perfectly working item, they've stripped it all apart, and then filmed putting it back together. And then what they've done is taken it apart again, really, really dirtied and roughed it up, and then put it together, so you've got the footage of the clean one going back together, and then you've got the dirty one and the footage of taking that apart, and then they've just sort of like swapped the footage round. And they've caught themselves out quite badly with this, is we can actually see right around about here, the water trip um, pad that is now pink because we've just sprinkled water all over it. So yeah, it's pretty clear that what's gone on there is they've just reversed the um, the sort of the, the, the way that they've edited this video uh, so that it looks like they're putting back together the one that they've restored. But actually after they've just dirted it all up and put it back together, they're gonna take it apart and just throw it in the bin and then use the footage of it going back together perfectly, um, you know, good conditions. So I think that's likely as to what's happened. I'd say around about now at this point, is it probably just after it's been taken apart in the really good condition when they bought it and now they're just checking LED, they're putting power through LEDs because that's a, a nice aesthetic thing for people who don't know what they're looking at to look at. So, oh, they thought that was an LED, but it, but it, it's not, or it is an LED. They just had the polarity the wrong way around, which is always safe when pumping power through something. Um, so we're gonna just check a few more things. We're gonna see this little meter going like this, which is really aesthetic, but what we're doing here is absolutely nothing. No scientific uh, reasoning behind any of it. It's just wild, pointless probing because it looks good. Now, here we have the DS fully taken apart before they cleaned it up. This, this is before they screwed it up for the video to claim that they're restoring it. So this is it freshly taken apart. They probably filmed this a couple of days before and this is it now in its cleaned condition but this is actually just it before they roughed it up. Now, one thing that's really interesting is this. This little patch here is the one that we as the average viewer, but they're just taking us for idiots, and it's worked. These videos get millions of views. What they're trying to do here is just tell us that that is the same as the one that they've just restored. But I'm gonna hazard a guess as to the fact that they've just taken some super glue, put it on the top of a perfectly good shell, and sprinkled some of that, whatever that was, on top, and now they're trying to trick us into thinking that this is it after it's been restored. But, it's just definitely not. That is it before they have roughed this whole thing up to make it look like they found it in a in a pile of crap on the side of the road. So uh, yeah, and now we've got new screens, we've got new this, we've got new that. I mean, it's it's just insane. It's so it's so obvious now what's going on. All of this stuff is the same one. Look, there's the third select button that's just reappeared. You know that button that was missing. There it is now. That's because they might have forgotten to put it back in before when they uh, when they finished taking it apart, or they were trying to trick us into thinking that it was never there in the first place and they've managed to source another one on eBay or something like that. I mean, the craziness of this is just bizarre. It's so clear now how fake these videos are. Um, now, one thing that's really quite interesting is if we pause the video here, you can see that that thing, the little water trip pad, is back to its perfectly restored white and red so obviously what we're looking at here is the clips being moved around in a different timeline to make us think that this is it after they've cleaned it up. But this is not. This is it after they've just received it in the post and they've, uh, they've taken it apart. And now they're going to reassemble it and they're going to try to convince us that this is it 
you know, after they've restored it. And I, I think these are different hands. I think this is a different person. Also, why, why have they left this stain if they've just cleaned it up? Why have they left that stain? It's because they probably haven't even cleaned it up. They've just taken it apart as, they, as it was when they received it. So it's probably still really dirty at this point because it's a used old 3DS. So it's just insane. It's absolutely insane. They're just, they're just shoving stuff back in. Do you know what as well? It doesn't even need to work when, when they put this back together right now. It doesn't even need to work because they've already filmed the footage of it working. And then they're just gonna take that footage, which was probably the first thing they filmed, and whack that at the end of the video. So half of these ribbon cables are probably getting punctured. There's the so-called repair that they did before. I mean, that... Uh, it's just, it's so painful. It's so, so painful. Look, they, they've not even got the 3D slider in there. They've not even put the 3 z They've not even put the 3D slider in there. They've not, they've not. Look, let's pause it, let's pause it. There it is. Look, the slide is not even there. But I bet you it will be there at the end when we see it all back together. I can guarantee it. The screws are just going in wildly. They haven't... Look, there's the 3D slider back! <gasps> the slider! The, you know the one that wasn't there a second ago? It's there now. We don't need to wonder why. We don't need to ask any questions. It's just there now. It's there. It's just there. I mean, you have to commend them for the editing. The editing really... Uh, they should be hired by um, Hollywood at the earliest convenience. Look at the dirt on this shell. This has not just been restored. Come on, let's be serious here. It's not just been restored. This is it. Just taken apart and put back together just to get the footage. That's upside down. They had that upside down. We'd, let's just let's just go past it. That's upside down too. Oh, they did notice on that one. That's fine. But it was good to keep that footage in because why not? We've already wasted... 13 minutes of our life. Right, let's continue uh, putting things back in. There's the brand new, perfectly clean, restored, probed, multimetered motherboard with the absolutely mint condition water trip indicator that clearly got tripped before because they sprinkled water over it with a bloody watering can uh, and some and some salt as well. Remember, don't forget the salt. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just... It's just painful. And, you know, I'm sorry to keep skipping backwards and forwards, but we are trying to be led to believe that this here has just been restored by a professional. And look at the crap that is in that cavity for the, uh, for the slider. Ah, did you see how they handled that ribbon cable? And there we have it. Now, notice how quick they were to change that camera angle so that we don't look too closely at the uh, the, the repair that they've done to the top. Um, in fact, I wonder if they're not even going to show us it again. Uh, they might do... <gasps> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! The rubber feet have reappeared, which means this footage that they're filming right now is when they first received it in the post or at a shop, wherever they bought it from, and under there guaranteed are the screws. And we never saw them putting those screws back in. And look, it works absolutely perfectly, the whole thing. I mean, there we have it, another, another fake restoration. You know, the one thing that I've seen a lot of comments about is that it's fair enough. The, these people are, are, are obviously in a part of the world which is not exactly thriving financially. So maybe they need to make these videos to make the money. That's kind of fine. You know, I understand the hustle. But also, it's kind of a bit annoying that they don't disclose that it's a completely staged thing. I know they probably just, just you know, don't even think that ever anybody's even noticing that it's fake, but it is what it is. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Did you spot anything else that I missed? You probably did. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.